welcome back. So today I am going to be talking about paperwork organization, specifically school papers. So back to school season is upon us and this is when I like to get prepared for all of that paperwork that's going to be coming home with the kids. Whenever I think about school, I instantly think about paperwork. There's so much paperwork that is sent home from the schools. And if you don't have a good organizational system in place for that paperwork, it can get to be a cluttered disaster. Trust me, I know. I've gone through times where my counter, my counter has piles of papers on it, or we're looking for an announcement and we cannot find it. It's not good. So last year, I really wanted to get on top of that early and set up good organizational systems so that way I am not dealing with paper clutter throughout the entire school year. So today I'm going to share how I tackle our paper clutter when it comes to school. Okay, so the first way that I organize paper is by setting up a school binder. Now, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. This is just a simple binder from Walmart, but it made such an improvement last year that I definitely am going to implement it again this year. So what I've done is I just went ahead and got a few dividers. The first divider is for general information. So I have a few page protectors here and when their school class schedule comes in, usually around the first you know, day of school, they'll come home with a schedule of what their day will look like, um, schedule of different, you know, music days, art days, that gym days, that sort of thing. Um, their school handbook, school rules, all of that sort of general information goes right into this first section. And that way I have it all year. I can refer back to it when needed and it has a place. It's not just sort of placed on the counter. <laughs> Next, I have a section for my older son, Dylan. I keep things in here that are just pertaining to him. So I actually keep his report cards for each semester in here so I can sort of compare them. I keep um, any special documentation that is just for him in this section and anything pertaining just to him goes right in here. And then I have say, another section for my son, Blake. Same thing, anything pertaining to him goes into this section. So just by creating a binder that I can easily file away in my filing cabinet, it really allows me to have more of a long-term filing system for those papers that I need to keep throughout the entire school year. So these are not papers that I, you know, announcements and that sort of thing. These are just papers that I need to hold on to for the entire school year. Things that can be filed away that I don't necessarily need to refer to on a regular basis, but things that I do want to keep on hand go in this binder. And it really has helped us last year stay on top of that type of paperwork. So it's really easy to create a binder system for more of the long-term filing type paperwork. Okay, so the next area that I've organized for paperwork is right here on our fridge. I knew I wanted some sort of command center so that way our family knew what was going on at a quick glance. So over here we have our calendar, our meals for the week, my routines, and then down here is a, a place for each child. So Dylan, Blake, and Julia each have a spot to hang paperwork. The type of paperwork that goes here are announcements from schools, um, reminders from schools, and homework packets, that sort of thing. So it's more of like our short-term filing area. Um, last year, my older son Dylan, he would receive a homework packet once a week at the beginning of the week, had to work on it throughout the week, and then hand it in at the end of the week. So what we would do is we would put that homework packet right here, and we knew how he was doing on it, and um, it was just there as a constant reminder. So it really works out really well for us to have this area right in the heart of our home where we can at a quick glance see those announcements and those reminders and keep paperwork that needs to be sent back to school. So this has really helped us stay organized and on top of things. 
kids bring home a lot of artwork and tests and report cards and things that they're really proud of. And I knew I wanted to have a place to proudly display what they bring home. So here in our hallway, we have set up a little bit of a like school drop zone. So I'll go into more depth on this area in an upcoming video. But um, for now, I'll just talk about this section up here, the bulletin boards. So what I've done is I've hung three bulletin boards, one for each child, and when they come home with something that they're really proud of, we display it up here. And usually at the end of the week, we'll go through what's on the bulletin board and things that they really want to keep, things that are very special and sentimental, we will hold on to in their keepsake and the rest gets tossed. So that way we have a blank slate each week that's ready to collect new things that they are proud of. Okay, and last but not least, I knew I wanted to create a system for keepsakes, for things that are sentimental and a place to store memories. So I have these two file boxes here, one for Blake and one for Dylan. I keep it right in their closet and I store all of the things that we want to keep long term that they come home with. So special art projects, their report cards, um, you know, special things that they come home from school with that they want to keep, I put in these boxes. I used to have a filing system and a folder for each grade. And in preschool, they came home with so much that the folder was literally bulging. And as each grade went on, it was sort of less and less. So now what I've done is I just write the date on the back of the paperwork or the artwork and just put it in the box. So they have a nice place to keep all of the things that they want to keep and hold on to. And we are pretty selective. We only keep the things that are really very sentimental and the things that they're really super proud of. Um, but... Every, all of those items get stored here and then by the time they're in college they have this nice keepsake of all of their elementary and middle school and high school type things that they're proud of that they can take to their home and look at whenever they want to. So that's how we store those sentimental type things and the special artwork pieces that they come home with long term. Okay guys, so that's a look at how we keep our school paperwork organized by creating binders, a place to file away all of those papers that come home that we need to keep throughout the school year, by creating a command center to keep announcements, reminders, homework assignments, and things that need to be returned back to school, by having a center or bulletin boards for the kids to display their artwork proudly, and to create some sort of keepsake box for the kids so that way they have a place to store all of those really special items that we don't want to get rid of and that we want to keep long term. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I would love to hear how you keep your school paperwork organized. It is definitely a challenge, but these systems really worked for us last year and I'm excited to continue these systems for the new school year. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll talk to you soon.